it's an increasingly technological world. And we like to sort of pride ourselves that physics, for example, is a liberal art, and we teach it that way. But the reality is physics is a survival skill. If you don't understand math and science, how do you make decisions? And we're talking about everything from the energy crisis to healthcare. And so if you look at all the problems that are going to be facing us in the future, there's not a one that doesn't require some understanding of math or science. So if we don't educate people, how are they going to make good decisions? You know, if you look at who really gets access to science, it's a very small group of people. It's predominantly male. They're predominantly over the age of 40. If you look at NASCAR fans, it's a very different demographic. And there's 75 million NASCAR fans. So there's one group of people who will always be interested in science, and those are the folks who, who like black holes and cosmology and string theory. But there's this whole other group of people, and they like science, but they don't know it yet. And I, I feel like part of what I'm doing is showing them where science is in their lives, and that they really do care about science, they just don't know it yet. You know, I think every scientist you talk to will tell you that you usually learn more from experiments that don't work than you do from experiments that work. And it's amazing the amount of research that actually goes into these cars. And it's everything. It's from engines, car bodies, safety. It's, it's just really extensive. I got to work with one of the teams. They were testing engines. And I got to go into the engine dynamometer. And we were testing oil. And it was fascinating because the fact that I was there, we were watching the oil, and the oil was getting really bubbly. And I asked, well, why is the oil getting foamy? And they looked at each other and said, we don't know. And so we opened up a whole new range of, of uh, we opened up a whole new range of inquiry just based on that chance observation. I think the most important thing for them is to know that you should never take anyone's word for anything. So if someone tells you, well, this happens because of this, hey, you know, respect that. They they probably know something. But then go figure it out for yourself. Make sure you believe what they told you. And then I think the second thing is follow your heart. You have to do what you really feel passion for. And if it's science or if it's math or if it's literature, that's what you've got to do.